I'm going to teach you how to convert your Canva logo into a vector in this short tutorial. So hold on to your butts because we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Richard and this is Under Budget Marketing Design, a channel that supports understaffed marketers, small business owners, and do-it-yourselfers. If you get some value from this video, please like and subscribe so you stay up to date. With your logo open, what we're gonna do is remove all the color and make this logo black and white. So first things first, we're gonna click on our background and we're just gonna change that to white. And then we're just gonna select these items or these elements here and then just turn them to black real quick. Just selecting everything. And then this element over here to black. And then this right here, I'm gonna change that to black also. So now we have our logo in black and white. Now what we're gonna wanna do is come over here to download and then click on this guy and then just either do JPEG or PNG. I find that PNGs come up better, a little bit more crisp uh, inside of Canva. And then we're just gonna hit download. And then that's gonna download for us. And then we have our logo right here. I'm just gonna show in Finder. And there he is right here. And then I'll just throw him in my desktop for now. And then if I just look at him here, he's a high res, he's crisp, he's clean, and he's in black and white. So that's gonna be good for when we transfer this image to the, um, the vectorizer, if you will, right? The vectorizer works well with just black and white. Now, if there is color in your logo, I suggest, like I said, just making it black and white as the vectorizer doesn't really work so well with, um, with color. It kind of just interprets the, the different elements or different colors, just, it just doesn't work out the best. Now you might be asking, what is a vector? So let me show you. A raster graphic is made up of a whole bunch of pixels that come together to form an image. On the other hand, a vector graphic is made up of mathematical paths that form an image that can also be enlarged without losing quality. And now what we're gonna do is just open up this resource over here, which is called vectorization.org. Now there's a whole bunch of vectorizers out in the world wide web, and some of them work really well, some of them don't work so well, some of them will give you a virus. But I find that this website, super clean, super simple, actually gives you the best results. And I will link that in the, um, the description down below, but this is the best bet. So what we're gonna wanna do is come over here and then just hit EPS. So then once you have that, go to choose file, find where the file is located. I have it right here, hit open and then hit start. And then it's going to vectorize your, your logo. And then here is the result. You click on this guy, it's going to download it. Now, I'm not sure on your computer, but on my computer, if I just hit spacebar, I can preview the vector. And as you can see, it looks pretty damn close to the original logo. There is a little bit of weirdness going on here. And maybe some of the, the letters might be a little bit off and not so so crisp and, and you know smooth. But for the most part, this is an easy way to convert your logo into a vector if your printer is asking for a vector file because unfortunately, Canva does not provide you with a vector file. But just to show you that it is working, I'm just gonna upload it into Illustrator here. And then we can see that the logo is in fact a vector. And with that, I can just, you know, increase and decrease this logo without having any issues of the, you know, the actual logo being pixelated, which is the main benefit of a vector graphic. And there you have it. I hope you learned a thing or two along the way and got some sort of value from this video. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next episode of Under Budget Marketing Design.